Well, you're a radical, so this is what Ogden's done to Kevin Blanche. I have 26 frescoes along Washington Boulevard alone. They're slowly ripping them down. Uh, the Masonic Temple I restored. One guy hung from a chisel, hand It couldn't be done. Bought it down, fucking got a plaque up from me. This is how, this is what I'm down to. Native, seventh generation Ogden. Fucking the most important artist since fucking Fon McKay Brody and Bernard DeVoto. You know, the great Freudian fucking town. The two greatest Freudian writers, Freudian artists, well, two of the greatest Freudian writers in history are both from Ogden. Well, three, Kevin Blanche. Fon McKay Brody, Bernard DeVoto are from here. They're from here. They won't speak their fucking names, the great Freudian artists. American can. So this is, this is what I'm down to. Well, this is what I've always had, because these fuckers hate me. They Just like they did Fawn, just like they did Devota. So, the Tree Museum, they come and ask me. They came and found me at the... I was having coffee right over there at the old Brandon Iron right there in Washington. They're like, hey, hey, we got to have you. Nobody can do it. We've, everybody's tried it. Everybody's tried it. You're down to me, huh? All Ogden. So, the tree inside there. There's a big, giant tree that you walk up through in there. What a piece of art. So, you'll see right as you step in there, that's my handprint. I made my own tools. I laughed it inside it. I plastered it. Fuck coated it. I carved it to make it look like a hollowed out fucking tree. Fucking, it's a master. And all that other iron work, the, you know, the structural work, all native Ogdenites that did it. So, this is important. I'll tell you why, you know. Where's your crown? American can's right there. Can was invented here. Where's your fucking crown, Kevin Blanche? I hope I have enough juice on this camera. Just a hop skit. And this is important because when I did this, the superintendent on this job, when I did all this plaster work, was uh, Dennis Osman. Great dude. Yeah, the Osman's uncle. By the way, cousin. Good dude. He fell in here and broke his fucking back. Right in here, on this job. I fell and broke my back, as you know. That was 2005, South Ogden, right across from the Ogden Athletic Club. But, uh, so, I went to elementary school with Donnie Ann Marie, so speaking of Ogden natives, oh boy. So let's walk away, this has got me so pissed. So they promised they'd put a plaque on it. There's a little teeny plaque on the wall with my name over there, a little teeny about this big. They promised me, because I did it for free. This is the old entrance to the Ogden Mall right here. You drive in here. The last time I stood at the record store, which this was famous record stores, the Ogden Mall was a fucking gem, boy. Remember them steak sandwiches in Delaney's shop and that pool ball fucking structure in the middle? Children behave, that's what they say when we're together. <laughs> so we're running just as, yeah, Tiffany, I'm in that video. So, the entrance was right here. So. The last time I stood in line for a record, that was a big thing here, was Boston. Second album, 1986. Chernobyl. The greatest band in history that will never be in the Hall of Fame because he told the fucking record company to go fuck themselves. He'll never be in the Hall of Fame, which he should have been maybe the one of the top five fucking inductees in the Hall of Fame. You know? That MIT guy I told MIT to fuck off. So this is important because this is... So, by local, I'm seventh generation here. Fucking, my family roots got to Ogden in 1822. Even before Jedi Smith and Jim Bridger and the Ashley 100. They came in 1824. And so, I've been here that fucking long. First whitey in the fucking cemetery. Oh, his last name is Blanche. Got an arrow through the heart by a little soldier. This is Shoshone land. This is important. Now stay with me. Buy local. Buy local. So they have this art and art foundation. None of them are from here. I talked to this girl. She says, Oh, I'm from Chicago, standing right across from Fama K. Brody's fucking uh, classroom there on 25th Street. The great Freudian artist, the greatest female historian in fucking American history. So they bring these guys in from Puerto Rico. Buy local. 175,000. Caldwell's a. He didn't show up. So this symbolism is all Ute. So I talked to the guy, says, there were no Utes here, there was Shoshone. Well, we talked to the native, who, who, who? Darren Perry's office is right over there. Who'd you talk to? So it gets better, hopefully this camera keep going, we go down and we get a picture of the, you know, Joe McQueen's fucking brown now, do you know that? 
He's brown. So I think it's irony you walked close to the Ogden Mall was uh, drive-by shootings and some rapes in there. Boo! Boo! Heartbreaker, the great 40 in ours. Well, let's see. The two greatest writers in American history. Bernard DeVoto and Fama K. Brody. Look it up. They're Freudian. What? They're from here? Born and raised. 16-year-old fucking professor in the 1930s at right here on 25th. How about Watt? First player of color in the NBA. Huh. Born and raised on 20th. Racist Weber State. So he didn't have any black paint. I talked to him. He's a great guy. His name's David, not Don. I like these false names. Well, okay. So, yeah, let's get a tropical bird in here. When this was, John Weaver said there were more birds here than any place in the fucking world. Songbirds. Let's put a tropical bird in. Yeah, parrots were here. It's pathetic as fuck. You know, they're talented. I talked to them both, but they, it's not their fault. They know nothing about Ogden. 0.0. 0. 0. Buy local. You know what kind of murals are in this town? You know, the, probably the greatest fresco artist, maybe in the world, you're looking at him. I have thousands. I used to do all the work for Matt Browning in that fucking building right there. That's where his car collection was. And then when he died, I think it was 87, she sold it all off immediately. That water freaking leak in the Union building on his cars that he did donate. So, build out the mouth. So, children behave, that's what they say. We're together. Things that you say. Because we're running just as fast as we can. Kevin Blunt's the great Freudian artist. Freudian artist is the best. Of course, the train. Yeah, of course, the great Junction City. It's a no-brainer, right? So there's a parking structure, but there's... $175,000. Now, I did all the restoration on this parking terrace and the Ogden Mall for years. Kevin Blunt, I did it for years and years. The owners of the company were based in La Jolla. I did all their work for decades because it's built on the old marsh and it shifts. This was all marsh. This was all marsh. So hopefully this camera keeps going. I'm having trouble. My uncle's office was right there in the old post office. Harold Lynch. Yeah, that dude. Omaha Beach D-Day. Whoa, that dude was something that's who raised me. Fucking, what a fucking family. Whoa, that I grew up in. Whoa, those uncles of mine. Oh, talk about athletes. Talk about, ooh. God, all I ever heard when I was a young guy everywhere, every job I'd do, every place I'd go, oh, you're Dwayne, son. Oh, my God, I was so in love with him. when I was young. Yeah, that's what I hear. Meeting <laughs> my mom, the great artist she was. Horses? <laughs> Pioneer days. Okay, okay, okay. I, <laughs> that's all manufactured post-war. Perry manufactured all that. The days of four to seven, horses and cattle. No, no, no. Really very little to do with Ogden. Fucking very little. Oh, what about the road? That's all fucking Perry manufactured post-war. There's so much history here and so important here. So let's get down here. Joe McQueen, important fair. Oh, yeah, he died. I talked to him. There's a picture of him right before he died, right there. Really fantastic person. Porters and waiters on Balco, but Annabelle, fucking, this was Smith Street. And then Kiesel threw him out. The Mormon church threw him all out, changed it to presidents. Of course, he named the street after himself, didn't he? Kiesel. So, this town was in Art Deco decay when I was a fucking young guy at the party in fucking wildest city in the fucking world. The most Freudian city in the world. Oh, yeah. Still is. Sounds Kevin Blanche is alive, so. They finally at the end do Joe McQueen. Electric Alley's right there. And it's important that they did do Electric Alley piece. So Joe McQueen's brown now. He didn't have any black paint. I saw a black one over there. Huh. Joe McQueen's brown. What a talent these two guys. And I got to know them and I got to be friends. I interviewed them right here. We got to be friends. We're going to do a fresco together. But remember... This is paint over paint. It won't last. It's paint over paint. Frescoes, you plaster it, and I love it on the fake rock. The flick is sick. I have 10,000 fucking rock jobs in this fucking thing. Right next to the old rock church. You want to talk a fucking masterpiece. 
you want to talk a masterpiece of rock masonry. That I lost it.